Hello, 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 and welcome to yet another video from Bullets Garage. You may ask why I have my front suspension out of the car, and that's because I'm going to be swapping out my 14 kilogram springs for some stiffer 16 kilogram springs in the front. And then these 14 kilograms I'm gonna put in the back. And I'm doing this because when I originally purchased these springs, I was probably like the second or third, fourth person to get them from Lou from Modern Japan. And originally he suggested 14 kilogram front, 10 kilogram rear spring rates. He said it's a nice, comfortable, smooth ride. So I'm like, okay, because I didn't want a harsh ride. I didn't want a bumpy ride, so I'm like, cool, let's do it. So here we are, what, three years later? And honestly, I feel like it is way too soft. The front end, when I go full stiff on the dampening, and I have about five mils of preload, then it is ideal. But I don't wanna be running the shocks at full stiff setting because the fluid could overheat and the shocks wear and tear a lot quicker. So I'm gonna upgrade the springs to a stiffer spring. That way I could dial down the dampening and have the same result. And as far as the back, these girls are big and heavy, okay? So the 14s from the front that are gonna go to the back are gonna make a huge, huge difference because currently, on the highway with these tens, if I hit a big dip, it feels like a ball. It goes woo, woo, woo. It doesn't just hit and settle. It's kind of like bouncy. We got to get rid of that. So that's why I got this apart. I'm going to swap it out. And um, you probably can't see right now, but I'll show you up close. One of my top bushings here, well, actually both of them were destroyed. I guess this was an earlier revision design. So I contacted CKS and they sent me new bushings that I'm going to replace here. So I'll show you that, but fairly simple. Got it all taken apart here. I'm gonna just zip off this top nut. And let me just show you on camera. So these are not like your regular stock springs where they have a huge amount of tension and torque on them. There's a little bit of preload, but this won't shoot up like crazy or anything. But nevertheless, hold it. And there you go. Just like that, it comes off. And let me show you this bushing is what I'm talking about here. It actually came apart, this is crazy. So you can see this bushing. So this sits like this. You have the washer on top, the bushing in the middle, and then a bushing underneath. And if you could look, this bushing is completely tore up okay let me take this off so this top bushing look at that tore apart the the fail point of this bushing is this slit that it has in the middle that becomes a fail point as you can see i mean Try to push this one out. The rubber piece from the back end came through here. Oh, look at that. Completely destroyed. So, CKS, I reached out to them. They're like, yeah, we have revised these a little bit. So, we'll send you out the new ones. Ugh. So, let me show you what the new ones look like, and I'll show you... Just a quick swap of these springs. And something that I wasn't expecting is that the stiffer spring is actually taller, if you could see that. So that's gonna mess up my height adjustment a little bit. We're gonna have to adjust it a little, but I guess that's the name of the game. If you wanna play, you gotta mess with the suspension, which is annoying, but it is what it is. Oh, hi, Maxie. What are you doing, bud? What are you doing, sweet boy? Hmm? Hi, Charlie. 
Oh, so the boys are always working with me, as you guys know. Love you guys. All right. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. All right, guys, go play outside. Daddy's trying to make a YouTube video for his 100 subscribers that he has, okay? <laughs> All right, go, 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 go. Go, boys, go outside. Go outside. Go. All right, so here is the replacement bushing okay as you can see there is no slit in the middle solid design this is not going to cause the same failure as it did for the other one so let's pop this one in here pop this bad boy in here and put our little sleeve through it and just like that that is a good setup right here and we're not going to have any freaking issues so with everything more or less on top, as you can see, I have nowhere near enough threads to be able to thread this on. So what I have to do is lower the perch right here to drop the spring far enough to where I could see the threads and I could be able to tighten it down. All I could say is getting these rear shocks, coils out, it's just a nightmare nightmare job but anyway i got it done it took about an hour just to get them out hush hush over there so let's quickly swap these out so as you can see these are the same length i have a little bit of preload on these uh so that's why slightly taller but on the back i'm probably not going to add as much preload as i had before because this is a way firmer spring so I don't need to add that much preload so let me just go ahead and swap these out guys job is done um finished front super easy quick and easy the rear pain in the ass only because i didn't want to drop the lower control arm so i just removed the lower bolt from the coilover removed the three nuts on top and i had to kind of wiggle it out and get it out which was just annoying but this is how she's currently sitting and I'll show you how, guys how I measure my measurements. So a lot of people go, let's say from the ground to the fender. If you do that, my rear is at 26 and like three eighths. But I always measure, so I put it at the bottom lip so I could pull upward on it and make sure it's nice and tight. And that way I'm at 24 and seven eighths, both sides. In the rear are like that let me just show you because i'm i'm anal so i need it to be exact from side to side so there you go 23 7 8 and then the front if you go from ground to fender i am at focus focus 25 and almost 3 eighths and then if you go from the rim come on get in there rim from the rim to the fender i'm at 23 and 3 eighths on driver's side passenger side let's see center 23 and basically 3 eighths so I am perfectly happy with how this bad boy is sitting currently. A little bit lower than what it was before. Before I was at like 24 and a half in the rear and 24 and like one fourth in the front. So summer's here. We're gonna be throwing on the Vossen soon. Stiffer spring in the front, stiffer spring in the back. So that's why I lowered it a little bit because I'm not gonna have as much compression with these stiffer springs in the front and the back. So far I've driven around the block, 
feels very good. The front end feels good. The back end feels way more planted. So I'm very happy with that. And yeah, so that's going to be today's video. Nothing special. Just wanted to show you guys an update of the spring rates that I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Just want a little firmer ride. I don't want the back end to be so soft and fidgety. This way we're going to be more planted. I'm still going to dial in these uh, dampening settings. Currently the back is at... I, I went more on the softer side to start. So the back is only 7 clicks from softest. And the front is the same thing. 7 clicks from softest. So I have way, way, way more to go to the firmer side. So I'll keep you guys updated. Peace out. Please subscribe.